The OnePlus 6 is one of our favorite devices of 2018. It does so many things exceptionally well, and it's at a price that is more appealing than many of its similarly spec flagship comparisons. Its software is also worthy of almost equal praise. It's great software, but it does have a few issues, such as security issues and some long-running bugs like notifications that have plagued a lot of users that send them running to flash a new ROM. Now, if you're like me, flashing a new ROM is difficult and time-consuming. You search and search and search, and you read all the comments, and you think you found just the right one, and you flash it, and then you go and you change it to another one right afterwards. Well, my experience has been different with the OnePlus 6, and today I'm going to show you why. So first, we need to get out of the way why so many users are being pushed to ROMs on the OnePlus 6. OnePlus's software is good if not great, but it's not especially featureful, and it does have some bugs that I spoke about earlier. On the flip side, it does have an accent theming system, although it's not quite the more comprehensive theming system you can find in some other ROMs. Oxygen OS is also regularly updated with security patches and Android OS updates, and they have an awesome beta system that echoes what Apple does, where the beta program runs almost continually instead of just having it for major OS features like Google does. If you're a longtime reader of xdadevelopers.com, you're probably familiar with Oxygen OS and its numerous software and security failures that have plagued almost every single device. Now credit where it's due. OnePlus is usually very quick to fix these issues, but there's still issues that come up. Notification problems have been plaguing OnePlus users for years now. I just recently had it happen to my OnePlus 6 where it'd be sitting there on the desk and all of my other devices would get a notification from my Nest camera, except for the OnePlus 6. I'd unlock it and then magically I'd get my notification. The same thing happens with If This Then That, Discord, Slack, Hangouts, the list goes on and on. And for Pixel and Nexus users, you also lose the Google camera and the Google dialer that comes on those phones that have some great features. Well. The Pixel Experience ROM we're going to talk about today actually targets those Pixel users with some awesome features that have been ported over. The Pixel Experience is pretty much exactly what you expect it to be. It's an AOSP-based ROM that has a lot of great Pixel 3 features ported over. They took it a step further on the OnePlus 6 by enabling some settings in the menu to control your alert slider, vibration intensity, which is needed on this phone unfortunately, and display modes, along with a high brightness mode. The excellent pixel ambient display is here, and things like dash charging also work perfectly. It also has the stock OnePlus gallery and camera if you prefer those things. Not everything is perfect though. While I have got Google's call screening to work on the Google dialer, the person who's calling can't actually hear the Google Assistant, even though the system seems to be working perfectly on my end, which pretty much makes it null and void. There's also the Now Playing feature, which is in the ROM, but currently doesn't work as well and sometimes at all. And that's because Google has some things baked into the Pixel that haven't properly been ported over yet but it is something the developers are making a workaround for. If you're a OnePlus 6T user though, the fingerprint sensor in the display currently isn't working, and considering Google doesn't have any kind of face unlock features, you're stuck resorting to using a pin code or smart lock to unlock your device every time, which really isn't convenient. If you do decide to check out the Pixel Experience ROM, I highly recommend you check out the Google Camera Mod or the Gcam Mod for the OnePlus 6. It works almost perfectly and includes the night mode that's available on the Pixels. You can also sideload the Pixel Sounds application and it works perfectly on this phone and I really like those ringtones and really wish I could get them on my OnePlus 6T right now. I am really liking the Pixel Experience ROM on the OnePlus 6. It includes a lot of great fixes, so your OnePlus 6 works just like it did with the stock software, but includes some great features and a stock Google experience. Now, the Pixel Experience ROM is available for a lot of devices, including some Xiaomi's and the Poco phone. And if you're running a device that has treble and is an AB partitioning system, you can install the Pixel Experience GSI. 
Now, keep in mind, though, that is very experimental and every device is going to work differently. And you may not get some of your device specific features without having a device specific maintainer like we do on the OnePlus 6 and the OnePlus 6T. But if you're interested in checking that out, those links are available in the description. Just be sure you have a way to get back to safety before flashing them. If you love your OnePlus 6T, but find yourself getting frustrated with Oxygen OS, or you just want to try something out new that just works, I highly recommend checking out the Pixel Experience ROM. I really love it, and I don't see any reason to try going to another ROM. And with OnePlus 6T support coming, I cannot wait to flash it on my OnePlus 6T as well. All the links, as I mentioned, are in the description, so be sure to check them out, and be sure to stay tuned to XDA Developers on YouTube for more videos coming up. If you've enjoyed this video, be sure to leave it a like, and if you're not subscribed, why not? And if you want to be notified of every single one of our videos that come out almost daily, be sure to turn on the notification bell to make sure you get those notifications as well. I'm Daniel Marchena for XDA TV, and I'll see you next time.